G'day boys and girls, it's Bernard here. I'm sitting in my office looking out over the lawn. I have my Michelle Wrap crocheted blanket on my lap. I've been working on Colossians and thinking uh, about God's word. But every now and again, my mind wanders and uh, I get a little distracted. Uh, last time you saw me, you saw I got distracted by Bob the Builder. Well, today I've been distracted by thinking about bushwalking. You see, on Wednesday just gone, my family and I and some close friends had a wonderful bushwalk in War Gorge. Uh, we went together as friends and it was just terrific to see God's creation. Now, as I've been sitting here this morning, I'm thinking, I'd like to go bushwalking again. But I've been also thinking about who goes on bushwalks with me. And more often than not, I have a close friend who ends up coming on every bushwalk with me. They go with me up the hills and down the hills. They go with me through the creeks and out of the creeks. They go with me into the valleys and out of the valleys. They're with me when I stop. They're with me when I walk. They're with me when I jump. They're with me when I climb. They're with me when I eat lunch. They're with me when I finish. And they're often with me when I get home. Now that's something and someone who sticks really close, isn't it? Would you like to meet my friend who comes with me on all my bushwalks? I couldn't get a really good picture of them, but this is the best picture I got. Can you see my friend there? That's the one with the arrow. They're a sticky beak. You might have met sticky beaks. You'll often pick them up as you're walking through a paddock or out on a bushwalk, and they just latch on. And they stay on. And they go with you everywhere you go. So that even when you get home after the bushwalk, they're still there with you. They are so tightly connected to your pants leg, to your shirt sleeve, to your singlet, sometimes even to your hair, that they go with you wherever you go. What you experience is what they experience. Now, they love it, Sticky Beaks, because it's really good for them because they get spread far and wide and more Sticky Beaks emerge. They're so connected to you, and it's for their benefit. Well, that actually got me thinking about the passage that Mr. Hunt's going to be talking about today from Colossians chapter 2, verses 8 to 15. It got me thinking because in that passage, people like us, people who are Christians, people who are part of God's mob, are described like sticky beaks. We're so closely connected to someone that we go wherever he goes, that we have whatever he has, and it's for our benefit, for our good. When you listen to the passage a little later on, and perhaps when you read it with mum and dad, I want you to listen for two little phrases that describe us as sticky books. The first phrase is this, in him. And the second phrase is this, with him. You see, wherever you hear those phrases, the bloke who wrote this letter, Paul, is saying, you're a sticky beak. You are closely connected to Jesus, so close that whatever he has, you've got, and it's for your own good. You're in him and you're with him. You go where he goes. You have what he has. You experience what he experiences, and it's for your good. So when you listen to the passage, listen for those two phrases, in him and with him, and you'll find out that you're forgiven, that you get life, that you're made part of God's people, that your sin is dealt with. They're all wonderfully good things that happen because you're a sticky beak and you're connected to Jesus. I suppose the last question is, how do I get connected to Jesus? Well, the answer is in the passage too. And it's a little word called faith. It's being connected to Jesus by trusting in him, by listening to him, and by taking him at his word. So next time you go for a bushwalk and you find a sticky beak and it's on the pants leg and it's on the shirt sleeve and it might be in your hair, just remember this, as a Christian, you're a sticky beak too. 
because you are closely connected to Jesus for your good. You have whatever he has.